Well, I want to give you a couple of questions from the internet, from out oh, there. What oh. did they want to know uh -oh. about you? From oh. AK Dur I can't say that, but maybe you can the say it. The AK Durake. <laughs> sure. Durisse. Sure. Yeah, Shut you up. did that. Yeah. A.K. Sure. Say. Say. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm okay. Sorry if it's really <laughs> obvious <laughs> and we just <laughs> can't read. <laughs> that's it. You were phenomenal in everything. Wow. That's Aww. like, wow, that is like your grandmother. But I can't forget your performance. Oh, yes, in The Little, Little Drummer, Drummer Girl. Girl. What was the best part of playing Charlie? Um, well, the best part was she Of course, was she does miniseries as yeah, well. Yeah, I mean, with, you know, Alexander Skarsgård and yeah. <laughs> Park Chung Wook. Oh. Um, well, the best part, the best part was about playing Charlie was one evening we got to shoot on the Parthenon and it hadn't been open to a film crew. I don't think, I think, I don't, I'm worried if I mistake this, but I don't think ever. <laughs> um, and we were there for the whole night. We were doing a night shoot and there was just 40 of us up on the Parthenon walking around all these ruins and it was magical cool. and it was the scene where um, Alex's character Gadi and I fall in love so we were doing this incredibly romantic and beautiful thing and I was just hopping amongst all these ruins in bare feet and it was just one of the most like like filmmaking is nuts well series making but we mm. were just there all alone all night long and we watched the sunrise on the Acropolis, and you're like, what is happening? <laughs> what? It's what for is real. happening? And I couldn't believe that, that it was real. And we were, because usually when you read that in a script, you're like, they're going to take that out. <laughs> they're going to take that out. Yeah. Usually, usually, in about a week before these massive things happen, the producer comes up to you and goes, oh, yeah, we have a new edition of the script. Yeah. And you get to it, and it goes, they then walk to the Acropolis. <laughs> and then it goes, dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. We don't have the budget. And it did. It kept on not changing. And mm -hmm. I, I was like, it, it will change at some point. It has to. We can't be actually filming there. And we did. It was unbelievable. Lucky you. I That's know. That great. was the best thing about playing Charlie. Great. OK, well, let's get another one okay. here from Oh, Mauricio oh. underscore MSS20. 20. Yes. Cool. How was it the experience working in indie films with great directors and now to work in the MCU? <laughs> More pressure? Well, you, want, you can never take that away from you. You're part of the MCU. I am part of the MCU and until you I are. die. You are? Yeah, That's I'm part it. of the MCU Have you family. watched every single one of the your Not MCU? every single one, but I actually did. I, I watched quite a few of them when I was a teenager. Mm -hmm. I found them. There's nothing like an epic superhero coming to save the day, right? They're no, pretty cool. Everyone wants to see um, them. I, the difference. But I'd rather be in the Parthenon. You yes. Know, just to well, there you go. I get to mm -hmm. do both. Mm -hmm. um, what's it like? Okay, I will always want to work with great uh, directors, whether they're in indie films or in big films. I think one of the beauties about working in this film was that we had a beautiful indie director working on such a big scale. So I kind of got best of both worlds. But yeah, there's nothing like being a part of this new family and, and just the sheer size of it, the sheer mechanics of it, the, the family that comes with mm. it. Um, the, something that I'm so impressed by is the stunt team behind these films. They, they, it's like these, these magical people have run away with the circus and they are there to teach you everything you want to know. Well, I mean, look, at you've done all this. You've done, you know, with uh, Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, yeah, you know. Yeah. You've been a wrestler. I know, I was... Where did I, that come I from? I was the wrestler. I you was, were the, the I main was person in I was the lady that changed wrestling. And so you said, just fine, I can do this. Well, no, I didn't, actually. When I got the role... <laughs> I remember Stephen had breakfast with me and he sat me down and he was like, oh, and just so you know, you do realize we will be actually doing, you know, that fight at the end. And I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Thinking, you know, green screen or stunt double or whatever. And he was like, no, 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 um, in two months time, you're gonna be uh, on Monday Night Raw at the end and you're gonna wrestle in front of 20,000 people. Sure. I was like, <laughs> I had no knowledge of wrestling. <laughs> I, I didn't know how to lift bodies. So yeah, we I had the rock to talk yeah, to. Yeah, but I did, you're right. I did have a doorway into that kind of world, and that was a mega film when I did it. It was huge. Um, but yeah, I, I'm still impressed by stunts. I think that's why I'm impressed by stunts because of fighting with my family. I understand it now. When all this awards talk that's around you now in yeah. Little Women, does that affect <laughs> you in any way? No. Do you just say, "Oh no, I put that in another box"? No, not at all. I think I, I totally appreciate it. Mm -hmm. um, I mean. <laughs> 
when there's any conversation about any award, it doesn't matter if it's the biggest or the smallest, it's a lovely thing. It means that people like your work and it means that people think that your work is worthy enough of an award. Like, that's a wonderful thing. I don't let it um, worry me because I don't really do it for awards. I do it because I, I want to meet and work with beautiful people and, and I'm interested well, in, in the stuff that, that I do. Well, you can do that. You can demand green popcorn, you know, whenever you want. I did you ask just, for green and, popcorn. And it didn't happen. I asked for it and no you one know, gave it to me. <laughs> no. You, this, is, this, this is the first time you've been on this show. I know. So you don't know we end in song all the time. And I'm going to put that down there. Yes. <laughs> I was just but, about to oh, eat a mouthful. But I hear this is a big deal with you. What? That you write songs, you sing songs, you I do it. Do. And we always ask everybody for just a little bit of a song. Okay, but my voice is a bit I don't bold. care. I don't so, want excuses. Uh, I'm the director and I I'm know. saying, I told you this was happening. <laughs> just right. do it. I think I'm going to do... Okay, I got okay. one. Mm -hmm. mm, okay. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay. Ah, yes. Stars shining bright above oh, you. Night breezes seem to whisper, I love you. Birds singing in the sycamore tree. Dream a little dream of me. So, Mama Cass. It was just wonderful. Thanks. You could be doing so <laughs> many things. I want to. You I should. would really, I would really, I, well, for a while I didn't know if music or acting was going to go first. And then acting went first and, and music has stayed at the same point, which is slightly daunting to me. Well, see, there's so many worlds to conquer, you know, and you have time. I would love will, to. I would but, but it's a different beast. It's a completely different industry and I, <sighs> I need to give it some time. I think you have the time. <laughs> you can give I it. Just just said. Do it. You're giving yourself I know, I an should. hour and a half off, you know? So I think it's great that that happened. Thank and you. thank you for being thank here. And thank you. you for being as wonderful as you are. I'm not going to oh. throw the popcorn. Oh, in. well, that's so sad. Everybody <laughs> loves to clean it up after that. Anyway, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Yes.